Hello, welcome to the Full Circle Podcast. This is the first one of the day in the world. Yeah, what's good, y'all? It's your boy Buggy. I'm here with fucking Dewey. Dewey. From Hempwit. And himself. And we're just gonna fucking talk and talk about fucking music and life and get stoned and yeah, fuck it, you know? So, dude, what's up, man? How you been? Chilling. Can't complain. Can't rejoice. Can't rejoice. You stay stay baseline. Facts. Yeah, that's what I realized. You gotta stay even. (laughs) Try to stay even. You get too hot, you'll burn yourself and shit. But, yo. Freeze. What's up with this weed? How's this, bud? Ooh, it looks fucking... Definitely gets you fried. Looks crystally, dude. Welcome to the weed cast, man. (laughs) Live from Bugsy's pal. I We're gonna hit a couple shit. bubblers this episode. Facts. <laughs> I have a, a little bit, but it's pretty crystally. But I only have a little bit left, so like a, I hate when you're at the end of it, and that's when you like start cherishing it, and you're like, oh no. Especially when they're pretty nugs, like pretty little shiny geysers. Big fan. Big fan. Facts. So, yo, who was your biggest musical influ- influence when you started making music? My brother. And is he AC- your older brother? Yeah, and ACDC. How much older is he? Like 16 months. How much taller are you? I don't know. Like, two feet. <laughs> That's so crazy. <laughs> Not two feet. <laughs> That's so gnarly, dude. <laughs> That's awesome. But significantly. So, what, what was he doing? He was just playing any kind of music? He was playing guitar. Big into like Metallica and stuff, and uh, we started when we were real young. Like, I think I was in third grade, he was in fourth grade. That's so awesome. I needed a creative outlet because I was like a little asshole. That's so, so my dope. dad said, You know what, you're playing drums and your brother's playing guitar now because <laughs> you were just being a dick. Yeah, that's perfect though. I wish I had some sort of shit like that, dude, because yeah. I grew up with two older sisters. But you started from playing rock band, which is. Yeah, la- later on though, not until I was fucking like sixteen, you know. But I grew up with two older sisters, and they were both each one was like seven years older, and the other was like eleven years older. That's nutty. So it was real different, yeah. And I had no, I had musical influences based off of what they listened to, like fucking No Doubt, which are, which I fucking love No yeah, Doubt, but they kill it. But. As far as that goes, that's so awesome. I'm so envious of that childhood. <laughs> like, like, that's so dope. When you're young, you don't really, like, pick what you listen to. It's just, like, Not whatever, really, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, whatever you're... But you can still to. weed out what you like. Definitely. Like, that's where... Not liking certain things. That yeah. We're on, but also being very drawn to other things. Like, I was, like... I was, like, against rock music at a young age. For some reason, that was all hip-hop. And then the second I played rock band, this is that's what that's literally so fucked up how I gained respect for it. Because I played I played the buttons and I was like, they're doing this on strings. Yeah. Like I'm I was like, alright, I love it. I love it now, and I just dove into it. I was I never really gave like any hip hop or rap. Like, so you're the opposite. Until so, yeah, I was in like 2014 on uh, the music department trip to California and like Disneyland. I think I was like in 10th or 11th grade. Mm-hmm. Uh, my boy Dylan Penna, shout out, Half Soul, he uh, put me on to Absol, and I just listened to Dub Sack by Absol Word. for four days straight, nonstop, 24 hours a day. And so then, that was your introduction? Uh, yeah, and he showed me Long Live ASAP uh, by ASAP Rocky, the album that came out in 2013, I think. And like that just kind of turned me on to how heavy it can be and how similar to fucking Slipknot rap yeah. music is. <clears throat> Well, Slipknot <laughs> was rap, kind of, yeah. you know? I'm like, that, there that was connection. a weird... There was a weird... Can you turn that off? That was our intro music. He requested time time, time to take the music off and have a convo. Fucking... Dude, that's fucking... Like, all those 2000s, like, mid-90s bands were, um... Were, like, right borderline rap, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, Rage Against the Machine. Yeah, all of that's them were. the hardest shit there ever was. For real, for real. So, like, that's fucking crazy how... And that's what I'm saying. I just didn't have a respect for rock in the sense of the musical shit because I knew that hip-hop sampled all soul and funk and all that shit, but I didn't have that um, 
that initial respect until I did it, tried to do it myself. And that's why the reason I was such a hip hop fan was because of the lyrical ability, you know. As Bruce other did, music, I think. other music was pretty. Uh, oh, facts. Other music was just <coughs> like it was about the instruments, and that's what mm-hmm. I didn't understand in the beginning. You know what I mean? But that's fucking awesome. So, um, when you started playing, when did you find out what instrument you liked better? Were you just put on the drums, like you, you said, your <laughs> yeah, dad? I, just, I didn't have a choice. And I didn't want to do it for like the first two years, but like I said, I didn't have a choice. I was just like a jackass and just needed a creative outlet. But um, once I was in band in like middle school, like fifth, sixth grade, I realized I had like an upper hand, like in all the percussion stuff, having like that two years prior and starting a couple of years younger. Compared to all the other yeah. kids. So I kind of always had like kind of a leadership role in people ask questions or like I kind of can show people little points and I can like take in the knowledge from the director a little bit more because just having that two years prior such a youngster and gave me such an upper hand That's I was dope. Just, so you were always like in charge of all the classes and <coughs> <coughs> not in charge but I always knew that the director didn't need to like worry about me he's just like mm-hmm. you're playing this it's like don't be a dick don't play too loud <laughs> Word. Yeah. thanks that's awesome dude so was your brother in those classes too, or was he yeah, in he was, separate ones? He was a year older than me, but whenever the bands, like throughout like the school curriculum, whenever like the seventh and eighth graders would have the classes together, that's when I was with him. And then in high school band, it's just all four age groups all at once, like ninth through twelfth grade. So I was in high school, all through marching band, jazz band, all that stuff. Uh, my brother, my older brother. Oh shit! Him. You did all of it, like the jazz. That's so crazy, dude. I didn't make any music until I graduated high school. <coughs> so I guess as far as like I, I was late, but rock band. When I was playing guitar, I, I got on expert. Like um, I was playing expert guitar in like a week on rock band, and then since I like got so good at it. When I was younger, my like 15, my mom got me a guitar, an electric guitar. And when I tried to play it, it wasn't the fucking same at all. No. You know, so that's why I was like, all right, I can't. This isn't the same. But then Rock Band came out like a year later, and I tried the drums. And again, I was expert in like a week. Not yeah. even. I was playing expert. Came home to a new drum set one day. She's like, okay, all right, maybe this shit will work. And it worked. That was yeah, it. Cole, that one. he doesn't play any instruments, but he was in middle school band. And fucked around the percussion. So he's always had, like, a musical mind. And he's always listening to, like, kind of what we listen to, like, in our cars whenever we're going somewhere. And that's the way it's been for, like, the past six, seven years at this point. Mm-hmm. And he is a shredder on Guitar Hero. Like, so unbelievably <laughs> so nasty. Fun, it's, like you, it's like you have to have a musical head yeah. to, like, to be able to just absolutely crush Mad. shit on Guitar Hero. Yeah. Dude, that shit was so <laughs> fun, dude. I used to fuck that shit up. Where did it go? Why what, did they stop making it? I don't know, but the controllers for the PS2 version and, like, the Wii version go for, like, $60 on eBay, just the controller. Oh, I know what it is. The Once the HD TV started coming out, it was hard to link <coughs> up the T. It was oh, yeah. a lag. Yeah, I'm, I can only play Guitar Hero with a controller, like an Xbox 360. No, it's cheating, dude. Uh-huh. <laughs> You're not it's, allowed. It's, it's way harder. That's cheating, bro. <laughs> you gotta fucking do I'm 97 percent free bird. Drumming's fun, though, but, like, if I'm, like... Practicing a song. <laughs> you, got, you got your cup of water? Where's your cup of water? No, I'm just coughing. That's what I do. Uh, I don't even know where I put it. It's not in here. <laughs> He's walking in circles, guys. <laughs> Fucking, um... What was I going to say? I don't even know. Um, rock band. Something about rock band. Fucking, oh yeah, when I would play real drums and I would want to... Like, when I go on YouTube and I type in, like, a name of a song and then drumless... Mm-hmm. They have shit ton of versions, but they're all rock band. They're like muted rock band drum <laughs> yeah. drum practice tracks, so you can still even see the drums that they wanted you to play. Yeah. So it is yeah, really the, the realistic. Guitar hero drums, like rock band drums, like the notation used. I had every so song ever. Similar, I had so every similar. song ever bought on an Xbox. No I, way. Yeah, I sold it to my boy. I have every rock band ever and every like <coughs> I'm in, I'm clear, ACDC, the Beatles one, Metallica, all of them. Yeah, Aerosmith. all of them. And and then all the regular ones, and then a bunch of bought songs like that were downloaded. 
and I sold the Xbox, that Xbox to my boy. He still has it, so I can yeah. buy it back from him. Dude, you're just bringing back memories from like we were. We would play. Dude, it's so fun. You can we, learn we songs so, so much easily. Rock band in middle school. Now that I'm thinking about it. Yeah, all dude, day. In dude. the summertime, we would like like we were like fifth, sixth grade. We would swim in my house, and then we would go in my basement because we had so many instruments. Because my dad's a contractor, and his customers would just always have like, "Hey, you want this drum set? You just buy it. Boom, drum Fast. set." And be like, "Oh, bad guitars." And all of our boys played instruments in some capacity as a dumbass kid, and we would just and as a kid that shit was rocking amazing, out in bathing dude. suits all the middle of the <laughs> just videos. fucking playing. And then we would go to play rock band after playing the real instruments. And I fuck it up. Dude, I know. That's what I'm <laughs> saying. This shit's so fun. Like, you had two people, <laughs> bassist, the guitarist. This, I, would be, I would be drumming somewhere. and singing. Like, dude, I used to I used to throw the microphone wire over the fan that's and, like, set did. the drums up and hang it so I could tr- sing and play that's drums. we recorded some stuff a couple months ago. Hemp that's so great. At MC Skirt. Yeah, but yeah, back in the day, like... Big Steve, Diatavi's dad, he would sing, he would play like the police songs, like Roxanne and stuff, mm. and he would just sing on Expert and just nail it, and he, we would just be getting those platinum five stars on Rock Band too. <laughs> Dude, and that, that's what it was though, there was no delay on when it was like a regular TV, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Once everything switched to digital flat screens, there was an issue with a lag trying to play the game, and I think that might have put it out. But that's whack. How is every other game, like, perfect through it, you know? And that's the one yeah, game. because we already hit, we hit the peak of video games, like, ten years ago. Like, it's just, yeah, that's why I sold my shit a f- couple I, years I, ago. I, I tapped out of video games in, like, my senior year of high school. I haven't been, like, interested, interested yeah. in games. I sold my video games, like, four insane. years ago. Five, four, yeah, about four years ago. It's so sad, though, yeah, when I think about it, because it is fun as fuck. Yeah, but it's but waste. What, yeah, what, not, the only not, thing that's not a waste for real is, I think, drumming on Rock Band. Or playing the piano, because they had a I'm piano so one. On they had a piano stuff. one, dude, and I had the piano version, too. Like, learning how to play keys, bro. Like, Piano Man. DJ Hero. Oh, my God. Remember Donkey Congo? Yeah. Yo, I had that. He had to, like, bang on the sides and shit. That shit was so great. That was so creative. They got me as a little kid with that one. <laughs> I thought I was a fucking... I don't know what I thought I was with that game. There was parts where you had to go like... I never went deep on like those games. I didn't either, really. I just was a little kid that got fucked over by the ad... Of the, of the Donkey Kong go. <laughs> when I saw you. Donkey Kong go like <laughs> this... I was like, oh, I need that. Let me get that for my birthday or something. For sure. Fucking, all right, so that was through high school. So when did you meet Hempsey and start um, playing with him? Summer after my junior year, uh, I said something about trying to jam on Twitter, and then he responded to it like four days later, and <laughs> I got back to him and said, what, like another four days later, and then one day he just got my number or something and called me and said, yo, Michael, I met you at my, uh... My boy's house or something. You play drums? Let's go. Go to my house, dude. <laughs> you like, let's go. He was hyped. I was like, bet. This is it. And we jammed a couple times that year. And then fast forward to a year later, after I graduated, the move is we're smoking weed and jamming on Hepsi's sweaty ass sunroom porch. Just guitar, just drums. And we were just going at it. And then come around spring 2017 my brother came around picked up the bass became the best ever at it in a matter of a few months so he wasn't playing bass what was he playing he used before to play bass in a band that actually like got gigs at bars when he was like eighth grade but like, what was it, he playing before that he played like a bunch of brass instruments start he started with guitar he took piano lessons um he at one point he played the drum like my drums way more than me Oh, so shit. He was fucking around the drums. He just plays everything. He's a wizard. Facts. He's John Paul Jones from like Led Zeppelin. He was just like That's played, played awesome. everything and just had. He was he's a genius, dog. Fuck yeah, I love his bass. His All my bass boys are awesome. geniuses. Facts for real. <laughs> everyone, everyone is epic. That's why. I, that's why. That's why I really want. Oh, and I'm, I yeah, happen to be wearing it. That's why I got this beanie, yo. Because I say epic all the time. I've been saying it for like 15 years. That's so great. But no, that's why I wanted to do this interview with you, because you are an epic fucking musician, and that's like, I want to get the dope motherfuckers in here to see where they started, how they started, you know? 
Because we all are yeah. dope as shit and completely different storylines, you know what I mean? Like, this shit's a movie. It's crazy. <laughs> like, like we have facts on, like, this is documented, so, like, when that time comes, we'll be like, oh, refer to episode of this, like, to know what you need for this part of his life that happened, you know? For this, you have such a documentary of everything. oriented mind. Yeah, that's what I want, dude. Like, not I want like, a film documentary, just, like... Period. Document <laughs> everything. Because <laughs> I want everybody's legacy to be remembered. Like I think we all would like to live forever, just to see the shit that happens. I don't like that idea. But, but a way that we can live forever, or leave an imprint and impact is. The I just want material. some kind of invisible hovercraft. <laughs> just let me hover over the earth for like a thousand years. Chill. In the future. Just check it out. No one can see me. I just want to see what's going on. Well, let I feel like I feel like it's been the same as it ever was in like in all those ways. You know, as far as like the shit that we don't like. Yeah, like yeah, this is crazy. This is dope. We're recording this right now. But as far as the issues for real, like in politics, that's always been the same. Yeah, I haven't watched the news in like four years. Facts. Like, for real. Like Facts. And you, Brian, you, you probably can't. feel... You can't. <laughs> you probably... Otherwise, they just win. Like, yeah, you just don't you, look you at probably it. Feel, yeah, you probably feel if, good. If like, a YouTube ad pops up, I don't watch the video. No, I have never like, watched... I just close that shit out. The only like, ad that ever it. got me in my life was Donkey Kong Go. Yeah. I've never, I've never... That's I was saying this the other day. I was like, when, what commercial have you ever... No, but they all get you. ...ever yeah. bought something because of the commercial? It takes one Mississippi second for them just to get... No, like, seriously, think, think about it, though. What commercial have you ever watched and you were like... And you went and did that? Like... Besides toilet paper? Nah. Not Nothing. Not exactly. <laughs> so I think there's so many people. So that means these ads are just... A lot of people are waking up in the sense of they know that it's bullshit. Like, they're just like, look over it. Don't even watch commercials anymore. Like, that's what sucks about TVs, commercials. Well, yeah, but there's so many different, like, small, not, like, not even real, like, faction, but just kinds of people that just, they would buy that. And then there's Um, the people, they would buy Donkey Congo. Yeah. Like, you know (laughs) what I mean? That's so weird, though. It just needs to click with a certain number of people, and they get their profit, and then the product just stops being... I mean, yeah, promote it, but there's just so much of it, is what I'm saying. Like, there's so many commercials. There's so many fucking... I don't know. I feel like they should... I don't know. One day, they're going to be holographic commercials, and they're just going to be imprinted everywhere, and we're going to have to pay to have them removed from our site. You think so? Think about it, yeah. Like, we're going to have to pay to have the ads removed. Like, that's what they're Dude, doing I already. Even, I don't like thinking... I don't do... <laughs> I like, You're like, I'm living for the next 50 some years. That's probably, <laughs> That's all I need to worry just about. Just think about this. Bro, technology is advancing fast as fuck. All right, so... Like, your pinky could turn into a fucking bionic thing very soon. You. Like, people who are 10 <laughs> years old to, like, 40 years old are going to live to be about 100 years old on average. Like, the average life is going to be, At like, least 85, 80, 90. 80, 90, 100 years old is going to be the typical 50, 60, 70 that we see now. Actually, it's more so Yeah, so 60, that's, 70, like, 52 80. more years for me. So, imagine the... Or like Fully the conscious. In 60 years, if, like, shit is just going to keep going the way it's going, like, there is no 60 years. It's, like... True. 50 years. Because the population like, and Everyone all that. is going to be living... Like, no lower than Nebraska. It's going to be hot. It's, <laughs> it's going to be hot. <laughs> you know what I mean? And like, you think global warming? I mean, it is. Dude, we haven't really had a winter. It be frozen for all we We know. haven't really had a winter this year, honestly. Dude, there's going to be massive solar flares. <laughs> and they're going to fuck it because... <laughs> the way he just gonna, looked at me, yo. <laughs> massive solar flares because the sun is way more active than we realize. And a thousand years ago, a crazy solar flare didn't mean shit, but a thousand years... Up until now, a solar flare would fuck up everything. And I think this was that's what's going on with the Earth. Well, all right, did you... I just heard some crazy conspiracy about the coronavirus. Oh, yeah, I haven't gone deep on that yet. Like, all right, it's that, the, it's that 5G is damaging to people. And when it hurts, when you get affected by it, you get flu-like symptoms. <gasps> they haven't released 5G out here yet. It just says it on phones just to get people prepared for it. But in China, 5G has been released. 
So maybe it's from that and they're just fucking people up, but they're blaming it on the coronavirus rent. Really, it's 5G. And you think 5G is like a calculated move for depopulation? Yeah. I believe it. Whoa! Because hey. they got in. stories of like birds falling out of the sky and shit. Like, I bet. So like I heard that when I heard that today I was like how is that conspiracy not being talked about more because the second I heard that I was like I fucking believe it. What if it's not even 5G? What if it's just typical ass just like just just radiation? Just, stuff that just, oh yeah, dude, like that's the thing like we definitely have time. internet that we could just way faster than all of us have. We have light bulbs that could never burn out but we don't sell them. Or they don't sell them. Yeah, there was a light bulb that was uh that was never turned off for like 113 years. And the company that made it went out of business like 20 years after they started. But all their light bulbs were just going for like 100 years. Yeah, I know. That they did that on... They make shit breakable for a reason. Like Cars are disposable now. This is the, the idea that society, <laughs> if we had what we want, we would just sit around. Which I disagree with. Like if we had Maybe the free time, we would, shit. we would do shit. Yeah, we, we would. We need to stop making shit. Stop there making stop shit? so many... Like, like what? businesses, livelihoods, corporations, that sole purpose is just to make shit that's just going to break For consumers, a yeah. Go get dumped in the holes and people buy another one. Yeah, that's like exactly what store. it is right now. When is, like, if we all had that, they would be out of business, essentially, right? But if we all had but everything. their business is stupid. Stop making toasters. No, toasters. I need a toaster. We have... So many toasters. We need to, <laughs> I'm just saying we need to stop making them. Oh, and right. however many we got is what we got. And uh, how many toasters, toasters do you are... see at the scrapyard? All right. Literally a pile. All right, this is a deep hidden a thing that we, we just figured out. It was a different... A pile? <laughs> this is deep rooted. Dude. <laughs> I look at a pile of, of washing toasters? machines and toasters and just like metal bullshit that are just stupid products. Mm. To like the size of two houses, and it's sh- shrunken down by a crane moving it into trucks mm. in a matter of thirty six hours. The two times size of a house pile of shit mm-hmm. is shrunken down to literally nothing. That's and thirty six hours later, it is the size of two houses again. And then thirty six hours later, of it is reduced to nothing. And that is just one tiny spot. This is such a small scrapyard. Jesus. Jesus, yeah, we are. That's what I'm saying. We got. We can be but cleaner. That shit's all, all getting recycled. We can be cleaner. That shit's all getting recycled to some extent, like a, a decent percentage, I guess. But like, it's just like, what is that? Like, why is that? What's going on? So many, <laughs> so many toasters and fridges. <laughs> shit, like, stop making them. I'm never gonna look at the little toaster that can the same again. I'm gonna run for president, and that's my campaign. No more toasters. It's like we're done making toasters. <laughs> we're done with the toasters. If you're making plastic, you're done. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> well, what are we gonna do? A lot of and glass. If you're against all that, glass. If you're against or that, or cardboard. I don't know, dude. Who cares? I'm just saying, like, you need something basic. Enough toasters. Everyone's got a toaster. Everyone's bought at least ten toasters, and that's fucked up. <laughs> Unless you bought a good one. And those are the ones that'll stick around. Fridges are needed. I will say that, though. Fridges are necessary. The good ones will last, though. So we need some... And we just, we just need some 5G. We in need... America. No. We just, <laughs> what? Dude, we need, we need solar panels and windmills generating power for free. We need free internet for everyone. We need free... If that happens... Well, this is no internet. What do you mean? We'll start the flip phone... No internet era. No, that's bad. Would you, no, you think Twitter's good? No, the, I love the <laughs> internet, dude. I need the internet for research maybe and shit. I'm just, maybe I do I'm my just own research. Media. Like, we don't have to go to a library to figure out this shit, you know? That's why, like, knowledge is being spread. Like, you can see the political lies that motherfuckers do now. Like, you haven't watched politics, but, like... I see. Whereas, I like, read. 15, 20 years ago, you it would take you weeks until the election's over to figure out if it was a lie or not. Now you know, like, yeah. you can... Comp- no, I'm, oh, I'm he like lied. That. He said this. He said this. He's, you know, so, like, the internet does a lot of weird shit, though, but... Or, uh... Do you think porno destroys people? Do anything can destroy people. Like, if you get addicted to porn, it's like, all right, you're addicted to cigarettes, maybe you're addicted to porn or just whatever. It's just, like... 
whatever it is, just fucking stop. It's gonna suck for a week. <laughs> just stop. And whatever's it's gonna way, suck for a week. Whatever's fucking up, like <laughs> your life, and so, and, like the small. It's gonna stuck for a week or two, and small then it'll be good. sense or a big sense, like that's a fact. You'll forget about it in a week or two. <laughs> yeah, unless like you're doing, it's like some bad shit. You need like doctors and stuff. You know what I mean? It's not just like maybe don't try that on your own. But like if you're doing something that's like you don't think is good for you, like porn. Like porn, <laughs> if that's your issue. <laughs> if that's your just issue. Just, like, knock it off. <laughs> that's so great. Fucking Otherwise, you're People bullshit. really are. What's that guy, Terry Crews? He said he was really addicted to porn. Yeah. And he and knocked he it off. Just... Did he, though? He better have, because he went public with it. <laughs> <He better laughs> Who cares about him, dude? He's got, so rich and famous. We got faith. We got faith in you, dude. <laughs> He's so rich. What's up with some jobs? Oh yeah, we're about to go jam. What's up, Adara? And see what's good with these motherfuckers. <clears throat> they might be asleep. But say bye to people. Or should we put Luke on it, whoever that is? Yeah. Welcome to the podcast, Luke. I can't hear him. Well, we're gonna go jam. I'll see y'all soon, dude. Yeah, we're on the podcast. Later, motherfuckers. <laughs>